If you've ever heard anything about the Welsh language in popular culture, you've probably encountered something like this. I'm going to go in the Subaru. Or, as they say in Wales, where of course they're allergic to vowels, the Half the vowels are missing. There are no vowels in team. Where did this come from? And what is the best approach to cracking this issue? Stay tuned to the definite Welsh vowel shortage response. Rodolfo Dui, a de Mahir Yaith, Shano i das Guri Kamraik, Gada Gubodaith i Thado di Doro, a tips and tricks i help i chi i daski. Vechi vint ola variate si Gada Kamraik. Mui ne chlai na saisneg. Well, it turns out that there are two ways of understanding that question, and for each way, there are two ways of answering that question. So I'm going to take you through all four approaches to this issue, comparing Welsh and English each step of the way, and keeping score to see who is winning on the vowel front. Hopefully, I'll provide a convincing and comprehensive answer that will show that most answers to this question are a little bit... Mm, also, stay tuned to the bonus round at the end of this video to learn more about an interactive online tool to learn more about Welsh pronunciation. I mentioned this in my previous video and I want to thank the hundreds of people who have already used it. If you want to learn more, check out my last video or take a look at the bonus round at the end of the video. Well, what is a vowel anyway? Most people, when they talk about vowels or consonants, are thinking of the letters of the alphabet, especially of the five letters that we usually consider vowels, A, E, I, O, U. So if you ask people, how many vowels does English have? Most people will say five and list those five. Does Welsh have those five letters? Yes, it does. So is that it? Does that answer our question? Welsh has the same five vowels that English has? Well, not really, because one of the most common defenses against the vowelless accusation is that Welsh actually has two extra vowels, Y and W. Two extra vowels that English doesn't have. Of course, in order to say that, you have to move away from vowel as a type of letter in order to say something like, in Welsh, W is a vowel. That means that we are already moving away from letters and talking about sounds. But we don't need to go that far yet. We can simply say that context matters. We can say that in English, W is not a vowel, but it is in Welsh. However, the claim that Welsh has two more vowels than English doesn't make much sense. English speakers may see a word like asputi and think that it has no vowels. But why don't these people freak out when they see an English word like cry, dry, fly, why? My? There are so many of them. So it's obvious that Y is a vowel in English, at least sometimes. So Welsh can't claim that it has Y as an extra vowel compared to English. But what about W? Here we have a similar situation, but it's the other way around. W is sometimes a consonant in Welsh. Take words like gwazg or dweud, and you can see that W is a consonant, just like in English words like war. In fact, W can form complex consonant clusters in Welsh, like in the words Glad and gnade. In both these words, W is a consonant, and that's why we sing the word glad in the national anthem on just one note, because it has only one syllable. We don't say gulad, we say glad. So this very fun and useful website called the Welsh Language Vowel Locator is a little bit contradictory. It has to resort to sounds in order to explain that Y and W can be vowels in Welsh, but it ignores the actual sound that W represents in words. It marked all W's as vowels, as if a letter could always be either a consonant or a vowel, regardless of the sound it represents. But that is precisely the misunderstanding at the root of the vowelless accusation. So, in this first approach, we concluded that English has six vowel letters and Welsh has seven vowel letters. So that's the first win for Welsh. <laughs> But anyways, counting vowels like that is rather pointless if you think about it. What we are talking here is about the inventory of a language, the alphabet, the letters it has at its disposal. People who make the vowelless accusation are not saying that after taking a look at a list of vowels or taking a look at the Welsh alphabet. They are probably reacting to seeing Welsh text or word, like for example the word esbuti I mentioned before. So it's meaningless to talk about how many vowels a language has in its alphabet and not about how often those vowels occur. What use would be a huge inventor of letters if you never use them. And you know it's actual frequency 
frequency that people are talking about, because all European languages written with the Latin alphabet have those five vowels, but only some languages are accused of having very few vowels. So English speakers probably see Welsh signage and conclude that Welsh uses vowels less often in its words. Luckily for us, there is hard data about the frequency of letters in many languages. This data is not just related to how many vowels a random word might have, but also to how often each word is used in that language. For example, if you use the word strength much more often than the word house in a text, that text is probably going to have a very high proportion of consonants. So these calculations are done taking into account very large bodies of writing. The fun thing is that you can recreate those calculations by taking a moderately sized text and counting all the letters and checking what the proportion of vowels is. You will find that you can get almost the exact same number as that published data. And this data is, of course, also what goes into deciding how many tiles each letter will have on Scrabble and how many points each letter is worth. Unfortunately, it's much harder to find this data for Welsh. But taking into account that we can replicate the data for English by counting letters ourselves, we can do the same for Welsh. So I chose a random journalistic text that was published on the BBC News website, both in English and in Welsh. They're about the same topic and they both say essentially the same thing. We can easily count the vowels as a percentage of all letters and see what's going on. Counting English vowels correctly means that we have to count Ys, but only when it represents a vowel sound. So I count the Y in bay, because it's part of a diphthong, but not the Y in yard, because that's a consonant called glide. In Welsh, I counted the W in mouth, but not the W in gwahanol, which is also glide. So what figures do we get when we actually see what the languages are doing with their letters? 41% of English letters are vowels, but Welsh vowels represent 43% of all Welsh letters. So we see that by counting how often vowel letters occur in English and in Welsh, we see that Welsh text will tend to have more vowels than English. That's another win for Welsh! So in this first interpretation of the question, we considered vowels as letters, and we took a look at the inventory of vowels each language has and how often it uses them in real life. But there's another interpretation, which the first one sort of already hinted at, the truth is that vowels aren't letters. A vowel is a type of sound. This approach benefits from actually being scientifically correct. So what is a vowel? A vowel is a syllabic speech sound pronounced without any stricture in the vocal tract. Okay, so it's a sound, is the basic building block of syllables, and is pronounced without blocking the airstream in your mouth. The air is simply allowed to leave through your mouth or your nose without any blockages from your teeth, your lips or your tongue. We can tell that this sound definition is important because there are different ways of pronouncing the same vowel letter in English. For example, ball and bar. We also know that the number of vowels we write is not the same number of vowels we say. Escape is not pronounced escape. <laughs> So the words I mentioned before, they have such a different number of vowel letters, strength and house, actually have the same number of vowels. That's because the word house contains a diphthong, which is not two vowels, but it's one vowel that has two moments or two stages. Conversely, a vowel that has only one stage is called a monophthong, like in the word his. The reason for this disparity between vowel letters and vowel sounds is that English has actually a very large inventory of vowel sounds. In fact, English has an impressive number of different vowels compared to some languages. That number varies a bit according to dialect, but in general British English has more or less 20 different distinct vowel sounds. These are the English vowels according to Jeff Lindsay in his book English After RP which describes how English is actually spoken nowadays in its standard form, known as Standard Southern British. This large number counts diphthongs as vowels in themselves, as I said, and short and long versions of the same vowels as actually two different vowel sounds. Well, according to the phonology of Welsh, Welsh also has a very large inventory of vowel sounds. So if we count all diphthongs and make a distinction between short and long vowels, Welsh has between 19 vowel sounds in South Welsh and 26 in North Welsh. So considering all this dialectal variation, we could say that there's a technical tie between English and Welsh, with maybe Welsh having a slight advantage. 
But again, this is just the inventory of our sounds. It doesn't tell us how often the language uses those sounds. This is important because languages that sound like they have a lot of vowels, like Spanish or Italian, actually have very tiny vowel inventories compared to English, for example. And of course, we have to consider that the vowelless accusators have in mind the actual pronunciation of Welsh speech. Well, at least that's what Clarkson appears to be referring to when he goes but this is very puzzling, and it's my hunch that English speakers have some kind of blind spot, a deaf spot, to how consonantal English sounds. A word like strength is a mouthful for speakers of languages that are very vowel-based. And when these people try to speak English, you might hear extra vowels in the word, something like esterenkth. So English speakers may be focusing on very noticeable sounds like kh and sh and having this impression that Welsh is very consonantal without realizing that English is much more likely to have consonant clusters. So how do we approach this issue of how frequently vowel sounds occur in speech? This is a bit trickier because it involves transcribing the phonetic pronunciation of words and then counting how many phonemes they contain. Data on how frequently each English phoneme occurs is also available in published scholarship. But again, you can replicate that if you transcribe the words yourself and then count the phonemes. So I transcribed those same two articles from before using the phonetic alphabet in order to count how many vowels, vowel sounds, they contain. The English text had 1,608 letters, but only 1,350 phonemes, which means that there are 16% more letters than sounds. Of these sounds, only 525 were vowels, which means that on average 39% of the sounds of English are vowels. This is almost exactly the same figure arrived at by various other authors. The Welsh text had 1741 letters, but only 1498 phonemes, a reduction of only 13%, which means that there's a closer correspondence between letters and sounds in Welsh compared to English. Of these phonemes, 642 of them are vowels. That means that on average 43% of the sounds of Welsh are vowels compared to 39 for English. That's another win for Welsh! So to recap, Welsh has more letters in its alphabet than English and uses them more often in words. But what really matters is sounds, and English and Welsh have a similar number of vowel phonemes in their inventory, with North Welsh maybe putting Welsh ahead. But where it counts the most, how frequent vowel sounds are, Welsh has more vowels than English by a clear margin. So next time you encounter the unfounded vowelless accusation, send people this video so you can debunk this myth once and for all with hard data. Velarver Python Hovio Tennis Grivio a robot with Arash Hoveti Weld and Ashanama. If you want to know more about Welsh vowels and consonants and Welsh pronunciation and phonology in general, check out hiriaith.cymru. In this companion website to this channel, you will find an interactive app with the all pronunciation rules of Welsh based on spelling, with audio example as well as comparisons to English and other details about phonology. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with new changes to the website, which will soon include exciting new additions such as games and new interactive apps. Hoil!